Hey everyone, welcome to the West Coast Barbell Club Exercise Library. Right now we're going to have a look at the high bar squat. Okay, Many of you I coach, your competition star squat or comp squat is a high bar squat. Okay, So we'll likely have gone through this before. For many of you that squat low bar though, this is likely going to be included as a supplemental variation at some point during your training cycle. Okay, I certainly like to use these when I'm doing higher rep variations to target my quads. Okay. Um, and fundamentally we treat them the same as we would our competition star squat unless stated otherwise the only difference being that we're changing the bar position okay so like i say it's very unlikely that i'll have programmed these specifically for you if you already do your comp squat with a high bar position okay but for those that squat low bar and are unfamiliar with squatting from a high bar position which is unlikely to be many of you but nonetheless we're going to go through it anyway instead of having the bar sitting on top of our rear delts just behind our shoulder here. It's gonna sit on our upper traps, just above our shoulder line, okay? Just gonna put my hood up so you get an indication of what that looks like, okay? So first I'm gonna show you my conventional low bar position, okay, which looks like this. Seated about there, okay? To go through a high bar squat, I bring my grip in slightly, okay? So for my low bar squat, I'm going pinky finger on the power ring, okay? For my high bar squat, I go a thumbs length off the edge of the knurling, which probably brings me in about two fingers width as compared to my normal low bar squat. Okay, so from that slightly narrow grip position, I'm now gonna position the bar slightly higher on my back. I'm also gonna have a sight line that's a little bit higher than I would for a low bar squat as I'm gonna be keeping my chest that bit more upright throughout the movement. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. Notice the higher bar position. I'll likely also have a slightly narrow stance. I would also likely be wearing my weightlifting shoes under normal circumstances, but for the purpose of this video, this will do just fine, okay? So while it might be a bit less obvious given that I'm wearing flat shoes at the moment and I would normally squat high bar with a heeled weightlifting shoe, okay? For those of you familiar with seeing my low bar squat normally, you'll have noticed that that was slightly more upright in terms of my torso angle throughout the movement pattern, okay? That slightly more upright position is gonna allow us to target our quads a little bit more and likely force our uh, glutes and adductors to do a little bit less as compared to a low bar squat uh, for most people. Okay, uh, normally this gets programmed for higher rep ranges. Um, for those of you that squat low bar with competition style, um, squat where we do more of our programming closer to competition or closer to max testing with more low bar variations. You might see these earlier on in the training cycle. Okay, you also might see these in conjunction with other movement variations. So having a high bar pause squat in your program wouldn't be entirely uncommon or having a beltless high bar squat also wouldn't be that uncommon, okay? Like I say, these permutations and combinations that we have of different supplemental variations coming together in one movement variation is pretty common, okay? And for those of you that are unfamiliar with any movement that has been programmed for you, including high bar squat, okay? You can always reach out to me. You know I'm always here to help, okay? Thank you very much for watching. That's our high bar.